The Xbox Series X is set to be the next generation video game console from Microsoft taking the place of the Xbox One. Now, I learned my lesson with the Xbox One that I should not buy a console very early in its lifespan because when I did, I got left with this system that just felt really stale. There wasn't a lot of games out for it yet. Plus, the user interface was an absolute mess, and it took them a few years to get that right. So I'm in no hurry to buy a new console, so I'm going to be focusing in 2020, maybe even 2021, on the older systems. The Xbox One, the Xbox 360, you got a massive back catalog of games to play on there. And then, of course, I got a Nintendo Switch recently that I'm looking forward to playing more and more as well. What blows me away, though, is the fact that we're talking about another generation of Xbox, and yet the Xbox 360 is still in a way relevant. And by that I mean you can actually play this system online. Microsoft acknowledges its existence. They have provided, I believe, a pair of some sort of probably security-related updates to the hardware and every month there are still two free games with games with gold it seems like for some reason the xbox 360 will not die even though it ceased production in 2016 we haven't seen a new game out on it as far as i know in quite some time fifa 19 had to have been one of the last games released on it as fifa 20 did not make its way to the xbox 360 or playstation 3 but yet people are still playing games on this system at the turn of a decade, as we move to 2020, people are still playing games on a near 15-year-old console. And it blows me away that they have not pulled the plug on this yet. They have not put this to an end. Now, if you don't pay attention to the PS3 or the PlayStation Network, um, I have a little bit because I have a PlayStation 3. And a lot of PS3 games have slowly fallen off individually. These include first-party titles like Mod Nation Racers, Little Big Planet. They've had their servers taken down and are no longer playable online. Now, if you want to go on the PS3 store, of course you can do that. But the point is, the games are not as populated that are available like Call of Duty. And then some games aren't even playable even anymore. And on the other hand, the Xbox 360, for whatever reason is still so relevant. So back in July of 2018, I posed the question in a video as what is gonna happen to the Xbox 360? What is its future? When is it gonna die? I mean, it just seems like it's so, it's outlived what anybody in 2005 would have ever expected out of this system. And with the announcement, the Xbox Series X is gonna have backwards compatibility with Xbox 360, Xbox One, of course, the original Xbox, where you can just pop the disc in and play the game straight away like that. It makes me think that maybe there is still legs on this system because what's really keeping it alive right now is the fact that people on their Xbox Ones can play backwards compatible games like Black Ops 2 online with the people playing on a 360. It seems like Microsoft is almost starting to morph their consoles into the way that PC gaming has went, which is, you know, obviously you have people on a whole bunch of different hardware all playing the same game. Some people can't play, you know, the coolest games, the highest graphics settings because they don't have the nicest machines. And it almost to an extent feels like that's what we're going to see now out of their game console business because you're going to have the Xbox Series X which can play games, I would assume, with people playing them on the Xbox One, with people playing them on the Xbox 360, if it's a system relevant game. You know, if you want to play the Master Chief Collection, you can do that with people on the Xbox Series X because it's an Xbox One game and assumably it'll work cross platform. If you want to play Black Ops 2 on the Xbox Series X and play with someone who's back on a 360, you can do that because they both have that same game. It almost seems like the direction they're taking with this is something that's almost going to skew more towards the style that the PC had. We may see the Xbox 360 continue to have legs, continue to live for quite some time just simply because of this cross-platform play. Now the naming mechanic that they went for with having it be Series X leads you to believe that there are going to be other series of the Xbox console. Now. I assume that's going to be another situation where you have a system like the original Xbox One, the Xbox One S, and then the Xbox One X. Now they already used the X name first, but I'm assuming that there are going to be different tiers of this system. Again, wrapping back to the idea that this is maybe going to end up being like the PC business 
where you have different tiers of graphical capabilities. You're able to get out of your hardware, but in the end, you're all playing the same game. And it just kind of depends on what you're looking for out of that experience. You know, if you don't want 4K, play it on, you know, the original Xbox One. If you want 4K, play it on the Xbox One S. And if you want to take it even a step further, go to the Xbox One X. That's kind of the approach they had this generation. And it seems like it's going to be the approach they have going forward while still supporting their old hardware, which I think is absolutely amazing. And surprisingly, despite what I thought about this generation and, and my interest in the PlayStation 5, gives me that push that maybe I do want to stick with Xbox. And like I said, I'm not going to buy the console day one or anything, so I've got time to figure it out. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Bailey, and I will see you in the next video.